so hello everybody and welcome to my channel um basically what i'm doing now is just um trying to grab these nail tips that best fit my nail bits from sidewall to sidewall and then when i'm all done i'm gonna go ahead and glue them on with my honey fan um, nail glue that i purchased from their website and like i said before this works as good as the kds glue all right so i already have my nails prepped so that at the end of the video i can go uh, right ahead and pop these nails right off and um i tend to add a little uh, more glue than usual because like i said i do pop these right off um after i'm done with the video so i gotta add a little extra glue so the um nail tips won't slide off and they can stick um throughout the whole video um also when i file they tend to pop off so that happened in the very beginning when I first um, started, but now that I have a little more experience, um, they don't really pop off at all actually. So what I'm gonna do now is just file the hanging um, sides from the nail tips. Sometimes um, when the nail tips, when I don't have the you know, perfect size of the nail tips, I choose the biggest one because if I um, choose a smaller um, nail tip, then I would have to press it and then it would just pop off eventually so um i always try to just get a you know bigger size rather than a small size and then i just file the side walls and i am filing the tips because they're a little curved and i do not want them um as curved so then after that i'm gonna go ahead and clean that off and then i'll be right back So now that I have all that filed out, I went ahead and um, did my thumb and I thought I was recording the whole time. But So basically what I'm going to do is just grab a medium bead and then just place it um, right um, where I placed it. And then just try to gently just pat it downwards. Uh, you got to make sure you do that very gently. And um, if your brush is dirty, then you just got to wipe that off because if not, then the acrylic will stick to the brush. And it'll just make things harder. So um, it took me a while to, you know, get to learn all this stuff. Um, I think what really helped me was um, when I learned uh, the liquid to powder ratio. And um, I learned that from V's channel. I'll probably just be talking about it later because that really, really did help a lot. And um, after I learned that technique, it just made things a lot easier. And um, as you can see, I'm still like struggling, um, but I'm still working on it. Like it really, really does take time and it takes a lot of patience, a lot of work. Um, and so yeah, you guys, after that, I'm going to go ahead and um, I also make sure that I like um, swipe the sides because sometimes it's like tries, the acrylic tries to like slide off from the sides and you got to make sure you get that before it goes under your nails because you don't want your nails to be dirty under you know so um if you need extra i always try to add extra if i do need it and small beads so um after my first bead i go ahead and then just i grab another bead and place it right at the end and then i just go ahead and try to um blend that in with the first bead i'm trying to explain this as best as possible um because i feel like everybody really does do it different everybody has their own technique but 
um, once you learn the powder to liquid ratio, um, everything just kind of just changes. And once you get that, then, you know, you'll be applying this a lot um, smoother and you kind of get the hang of it slowly. Um, everybody learns different. So if you're struggling, don't worry. Just keep practicing and make sure you practice every day. Um, so you guys, the reason why I added a small bead at the tip is because um, I try to grab like um, a medium bead and I try to do um, basically like a one bead, me a two bead method. So that's why I added a little uh, small bead at the tip. But it's like the reason why I'm doing this different is because before I learned uh, this method, I went through a lot of like... Um, I learned like different strategies and now that I learned this method I'm still kind of working like how can I make this you know work with what I know and what I learned from her so um it's it's kind of hard because it kind of confuses me at the time but once I like um like I find the you know the perfect beads because also you gotta take in consideration that every time you work with like different nails the strategy just it changes a little bit because you're not used to working with certain nails um like these sarcophagus and sometimes um like the I think like the hardest um nails for me is the square nails like the curved ones those are very hard because they're curved and for some reason I can't get the size like right so I I mean it does take time but I feel like I did um you know learn right now I have learned a lot and the reason why um sometimes i get i confuse myself because i don't know if you know this channel it's called i don't really remember his name but he, but he's asian and i in the beginning i wa i watched a lot of like asian people do their nails so i kind of tend to always like go back to that um you know strategy but then i try to do v strategy so i confuse myself um so yeah um i just feel like if you're gonna watch the channel just make sure you just watch that channel like you can watch other channels but i mean it's gonna be confusing like it is to me right now still but i'm gonna what i'm hoping for is that i you know make a decision already and then just choose one but like i said sometimes i just tend to do um this whole different style and it just like kind of backfires on me but um as long as you just try to do a certain strategy and just stick to it you should be fine but like i said um i try to do like the these channel has helped me a lot and i'm not just trying to brag it really did the powder to liquid ratio helped me a lot like now i can control my beats a lot better and once you do that then i think the other part would just you know come to me slowly um i wish i can do this every day but i can't work on my nails every day because I do have small children I have to take that in consideration so you know I'm placing another medium bead here and then I'm just going to pat it down gently and then just slowly bring it down and if I feel that my brush is getting you know sticky and is then I just go ahead and wipe that off and get a little monomer and then just basically try to do that um so just um I hope you guys understand what I'm saying um just hang on, hang in there, don't give up, and I'll be right back.
guys so let me know if you're still here um after i was done adding my acrylic i go ahead and reshape um these snails because they you know tend to lose shape as you add your acrylic and um so what i basically do is file under the nail because there's acrylic um most likely under the nail um either a little bit or a lot and then i go ahead and grab my hand file and then just file from like the very beginning to the tip and I hold my my nail with my index finger because when you're doing your own nails is a whole different story than when you do somebody else's nails um, and then I go ahead I'm I what I struggled with in the beginning is that um, I didn't you know add pressure on the tip with my hand file and I would like misshape um, my nails so when you grab your hand file you got to make sure that the hand file is touching all your nails so it can all be shaped you know nice and smooth and if you want to like thin out the tip then you add more pressure on the tip so wherever you want to thin out you just got to add more pressure so um don't forget to file under your nail because you want that nice and clean and then i just file a little on the tip I don't really do too much filing on the tip because I feel like sometimes I do over file and I just wipe that off and then I grab my e-file and I um, file around my cuticles area and then I file downwards with it. Um, I'm trying to explain it as best as I can as a self taught nail tech is kind of very um, difficult because I don't know the right you know terms for it. Um, but basically this is how I learned so again I'm filing under the nail and then I'm gonna file the side walls with a hand file I'm gonna go ahead that my hand file is touching all of the nail and at the tip if I want to thin that out I, I just add more pressure there <music> So now I am going to grab my e-file and this is a McCart e-file and I am using a 5-in-1 um, drill bit from Not Polish and this, you guys, it took me a while as a beginner to find the right file for me um, because I couldn't get inside the cuticle area and I did um, try to buy the safety bits but I felt like I still couldn't get in inside those cuticles. I wanted to leave them nice and clean and with the um, safety bits I couldn't get in there it I just it didn't work for me so I ended up buying this 5-in-1 um, drill bit and it did work I like it I love it um, it works very good and basically how I um, file my cuticles is I just count in my head one two three from one side wall one two three and then I move it right in the middle so I go one, two, three, and then I move it in the middle, one, two, three, and then on the left side, one, two, three. Once I feel like I've filed enough and I can um, already see the natural now, I go ahead and then just file um, around it, and then I go ahead and twist my nail, and then I file it downwards like that from the sides. And um, I did um, try different strategies. In the beginning, I tried a lot of strategies, you guys. I'm not going to lie. I did. I wanted to learn as much as I could. I wanted to know why I couldn't do this, why I couldn't do that. And right now, I'm still kind of just like dusting that off. And I'm like, just, you know, uh, trying to grab the best strategies that works for me. And that's why um, if you see me applying, uh, you know, applying it different is because I'm I'm still trying to just get the right the perfect you know the perfect uh, the perfect application the perfect filing um strategy just everything so after I was done e-filing I'm gonna go ahead and reshape my nails because they do tend to lose shape and then now I'm that's when I really go in with my hand file and then just shape out the uh the tip the end of the nail all right so then after that I go ahead and um, I do wash my nails and with a brush I go in the bathroom and then grab my little nail brush and then just um, 
brush that off because acrylic does get under like around your cuticles and under your nails and i really want that clean because um, when i apply my artwork i don't want that dust to stick to it so after that i go ahead and dry my nails and i am going to be using the young nails precision mission control and basically i'm just going to um dip the little ball side i'm gonna dip it into the gel and then just um tap it on my nails um what i'm trying to draw basically is just cherries and this is my first time i'm um, using this dotting tool to make cherries i've done a cherry um artwork once with the um art brush but i've never done it this way and i really want to try it and i'm going to be trying like different uh, size of cherries small medium and large to see which one i like better and which one looks best so just hang in there you guys um i'm just basically using um young nails mission control precision mission control gel um that i bought from amazon and it was about like 68 dollars but on their website i believe it's like 45 dollars so um just fyi if you buy anything from amazon um it's more likely that if they do have a web website, you go to their website and it's going to be a lot cheaper. Um, so I am also going to be using this McCart uh, nail art brush. And like I said before, um, I really, really need to upgrade on these uh, nail art brush. These only lasted a, a little bit. Um, they were like three pieces for 13 something. Um, I mean, they kind of, you know, tend to like when you... I don't know the brush kind of spreads and it messes up a lot of my artwork so i try to do the best with what i have and um so yeah you guys i hope you guys like my video don't forget to like share and subscribe um go check me out on facebook i created a facebook um a facebook account and i also have a facebook nail group that's gonna help you um get clients um all you have to do is drop your pictures your price and your location and i also created another page that's strictly for my nail business um if so don't forget on uh, go follow me on facebook i have my facebook account my um facebook group and then i have my facebook page um and that one's a business page so yeah you guys i'm basically just drawing the dots curing it for about 60 seconds and then i'm gonna uh grab my nail art brush and then just kind of grab those, those little stems so basically all i'm doing in this video um is just trying different size of cherries um with the dotting tool i just um you know dip it in the gel and then just draw dots tap it on my nail hear that for about 60 seconds and then i grab my um, nail brush and then I'm just drawing this stem so I'm um, basically what I want to do is I want to have a thin line and then right at the end um, I want that part thicker but the brush wasn't helping you guys I really really need to upgrade on these nail art brush so I hope you guys like my video please follow me on Instagram too and share my content that really would help a lot so after I'm all done you guys I'm gonna go ahead and just try a different size now all right, you guys, so then I also grabbed um, some white gel and then I just went ahead and then just like drew like a little line to kind of give it like a more of a reality sh like shape and look. And then I went ahead and cure that. And uh, some cherries are too small to outline outline them. So I am just going to outline that big, my biggest cherries and then cure that so you guys i hope you guys like my video don't forget to like share and subscribe on my instagram tiktok and facebook account